Welcome to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy. My guest today went from college basketball player to viral video star to NBA All-Star Game MVP. His hilarious videos have millions of views and have attracted the attention of everyone from Steph Curry to Kyrie Irving. Carlos Famous Los Sanford is here. It's so good to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've never had nobody literally just say Carlos like that. Carlos. Yes. Do you not like being called I like Carlos? Los. I like Los. Los. Yeah, okay, Los. no, I'm taking the car out. You are just Los. Boom, we're good. We're good friends now. Uh, you were the MVP of the celebrity game. Congratulations. That's what they say. Thank you. Yeah, that's what they said. 22 points. You had a five pointer. Yeah, they, they said 22. They did. Yeah. Oh, did you disagree with that? Seems like 26, but hey, I might be reaching. Oh, you think that they cut four points from your stat sheet? Yes. If you look at the thing, it says I hit one four-pointer, but I and oh. I really hit three four-pointers. One was a five-pointer. Oh. It's kind of weird. I oh, don't wow. know. So you're sour about this? No. I'm happy that I okay. won MVP, and I'm blessed, and I'm satisfied with my performance. Well, listen, you were sour last year because you didn't get invited to the All-Star mm -hmm. game. Um, and you weren't happy about it at all. How did you eventually get invited? Well, I, I was just sorry. I literally was just really, I wasn't mad about not playing. I was just mad about not being invited to events, not mm -hmm. even the three-point contest, not the slam dunk, not the, not the game, not nothing. That's why I was mad. Why do you think you should be invited? Because I think I have a lot, a big role in playing part with why people watch the NBA. So okay. much nowadays. Okay. The NBA has been a lot very more, phew, it's been out there for the past like four years. Uh-huh. Literally. Mm hmm So why do you think they didn't invite you? Why they didn't invite me? I don't know why they didn't, but I know, I know I was invited this year. And I know my manager, I, we talked to a lot of folks, and my manager wouldn't talk to a lot of folks. It's Jeff Sanchez. I ain't going to do you like that, Jeff. Come on now, turn up. Oh, your manager got it situated. My manager is Josh, but uh -huh. we went and talked to Jeff. My boy, uh, I always, when I have problems or I need to talk to somebody about, you know, some, some, I feel a certain type of way about something, uh -huh. I, I always talk to him. Hey, maybe he could Jeff. help out 2 Chains, because I know 2 Chains was upset too that he wasn't asked to play. I mean, bring 2 Chains in there next year and then. He can play. He can play. Yeah. We're trying to get, I'm, I, I'm trying to get MVP next year, though, if, I'm, oh, if, I, get, if oh. I get invited next year. So you're year. saying if 2 Chains comes to play, then you wouldn't get MVP because he'd probably get MVP? I say 2 Chains come to play. If he get MVP, good. If I get MVP, I need a feature. Oh. Yeah. Oh, on well, 2 Chains. I like are high. that. Stakes are high. We'll see if 2 Chains heard that. Yeah. Quavo was last year's MVP, and he said he started practicing oh about two weeks before. When did you start practicing for the game? Oh, uh, <laughs> never. I haven't played. I I haven't played basketball in a long time, in a minute. But I did play the day before the game. Oh. I didn't play uh, before that. I haven't played in a long time. So though. you're just natural. I don't know. I played basketball since I was like five years old. I, I'm a. That's what I'm saying. I'm really a basketball player. So oh. all of that other stuff. I'm a, I'm funny sometimes, but I'm kind of basketball. I really do that. So he Quavo handed you a shirt and a trophy when yeah. you won MVP. Good guy. Yeah. Did you kind of have this moment of like, hey, I told you I should be playing in this game? Uh, no, nah, I really was just happy. I happy I actually won it because I okay. went and said I was going to do it. I said I was going to do it the year before. Then on the red carpet, I kind of accidentally said MVP is here. Oh. I'm not mean to say that because I because oh. just in case I don't win it. But you did. But I did say it. OK. So that was really stuck on my mind to just go. I need it. I got to get it. I got to get it. So Ray Allen, everyone was saying it looks like he could still play in the NBA. Did you think the same thing? I mean, yeah, Ray looked good. But why didn't I was the MVP? Oh. Why didn't they say? Oh. Why didn't they say about me? Oh wow! So you're oh the, you could have played in the NBA. Yeah, they said okay. it about Ray. Why didn't they say it about me? Did you try any moves on him? Yeah. What'd you do? I, I walked it up on him, twing twing twing. Went across him, lost the ball. Jay Wills picked the ball up. I said, give me the ball back. He gave me the okay. ball back. Then I drove by him, which I really should have stepped back and shot a mm. shot on him. But I passed it to a wide open man, and he missed a wide open layup. Well, you did play in college. <sighs> yeah. And then you had a, an injury. Do mm -hmm. you feel like if you hadn't gotten injured, maybe you would have had a shot in the NBA? Um, I know college it was a not it was a good choice for life. Uh -huh. but it was a bad, my probably probably my bad choice for college because it wasn't for me. Like, I went, like, high school, I took shots, and I averaged, like, 20, 23 points a game. Uh -huh. And then 
next year in college, I was like two points a game. Oh. And now I'm taking three shots a game. Oh. So I went from taking 18 shots a game to three shots a game. So my head was already messed up in college. But hey, but, you know what? You played in the All-Star game anyway. Yeah. Look and, at you. Uh, yeah, and of course, I know they're watching LMU, Lincoln. I know they're watching. Like, hey, well, he played for us. We could have been. We could have. We could have been so much. Oh. We could have been so much. Were you kind of always the comedian of your team? Yeah, me and uh, Brandon Armstrong. You know, B dot B dot A dot five. He does the videos with me. Okay. He does. We started both doing basketball um, videos like this for like six years ago, but we played on the college team two years ago together. Did that ever get you in trouble? Yeah, but I'm grown. I don't know. But in trouble, I just trouble. I do the consequences. I get it over with. But in college. Yeah, like I. What one, kind of trouble you One time into? in trouble, I got, I got in trouble for curfew, <laughs> and we had I had 25 miles to run two days. I ran 15 miles the first day, 10 miles the next day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so how did you know being kind of the funny guys on the team transition into you making the social media videos? Because when. We, cause we, we literally had thousands of videos back in the days on mm -hmm. Facebook, yeah. which we had to take down because my friend Brandon uncle made him take it down because it was like a lot of curse words and stuff. No way. So, 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 so I hate all the videos are gone, but they're gone. But after college, when my knee was messed up, and my mind was kind of gone, my mind was out of there. Cause if I don't play basketball, I don't know what I'm gonna do in life. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, I. Brandon, was, B, B dot was making the videos. B A, B A was making the videos. I'm like, well, what are you doing? I'm fine. He like, boy, I just made these videos. And I'm like, all right. Then I said, I'm about to do it. And I started doing it. I'm like, man, it's kind of fun. And next thing you know, I was doing it for like six years. <laughs> I yeah. Did, I started doing them on IG too. Like, boom. Then they took Vine away. I'm like, all right, Lord, I gotta really do it on IG now. Mm -hmm. So, started really focusing on straight IG. Straight What's the key IG. to making a video go viral? You just, you don't know what's going viral. You don't know if it's going viral. You might think it's the perfect video. And then post it, nobody likes it. Hmm. My first viral video was walking in my boy, grandma crib, and doing a little dance like that. I did a dance. So. Why do you think that one went viral? I don't know, but I said, <laughs> I had nothing to post. I had nothing to post. I said, uh -huh. you know what? Just go in the house, sit right there, bro, and record me. I might just come in here and dance. I ain't got nothing to post. So I, I, I have to post something. Like, I have to post something. I have to be consistent about posting. That's the only way I'm going to make it. Okay. So, boom, boom, boom. I posted it, and then I look five minutes later, I'm like, boy, what's going on? This this getting a whole bunch of views. Wow. Ten minutes later, 20 minutes, I'm like, boy, hold on. This might be real. And then that was my first 100,000 loops on Vine. I'm like, what do you right. think kicked it off? <laughs> I don't know. Usually it's like one person. One person it. that yeah. mentions it, but it's hard to see that on Vine. Oh. On Vine, yeah. the comments is a little different. On IG, on IG it's a yeah, little better. Yeah, you can see on Instagram. It's a little better. Until you get like a lot of, when you get like a million and stuff, it'd be kind of tough sometimes to see some people. How do you decide who or what you should make fun of, like basketball players? Depends on the, the extent of it. Like, if, if, if I know it's going to be something very controversial, I probably won't do it. Like, like I ain't trying to bring no drama to nobody. Okay. But if somebody gets so like close, Chloe and Tristan, you're staying away from that. Yeah, I would never. Okay, so you have become friends with a lot of athletes because of your videos that you do. Mm -hmm. Steph Curry, Odell Beckham Jr., Kyrie, Giannis, John Wall—they all follow you. Mm -hmm. Have any of them ever gotten upset that you're making fun of them in a video? Not none of them. I don't think nobody ever got really upset. Spit a little bit. But if if nobody's really gonna be mad because it's basketball, you're gonna get crossed. It's really just funny. Yeah. So it's like if. It's just like if John Wall crosses Carl Towns, I, if I do that, and then Carl goes and dunks on somebody next game, Carl like, all right now, Make you just done. did John crossing me, do my dunk. Oh, so like, they want you to play it fair. Yeah. Wait, so are they DMing you like, hey, I saw that, but did you see what I did last night? You got to yeah, do that. I mean, yeah, yeah. Who DMs you the it's most? Fun. It's fun. It's fun. Who DMs me the most? Yeah. Isaiah Evan Cannon, Evan Turner, and I don't know. Mm. I heard Steph Curry FaceTimed you my in the locker room. Oh, yeah, that's my guy. Tell that's me about that guy. one. Um, they won, the, uh, what did they win? The, the, the game before the finals, or did they win the finals? Oh, the day they won the finals, he FaceTimed Did they won the finals, or the, or the one before the finals? Oh, the Western Conference Championship. Okay, they won the Western Conference Championship, okay. and then he wrote me, hey, what's your number? What's your new number? I said, uh, here you go. Boom. Uh-huh. Um, 
Because I always say they don't never keep numbers. You feel me? Neither yes. do I, though, either. I don't keep numbers. Okay. Either. You feel me? So I was like, all right, I keep whatever. All my numbers. Never. Okay, so okay. I gave him the little number, <laughs> and then uh, he called me. He, he FaceTimed me. I'm like, what's up, bro? He in the locker room, like, huh. like, yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it for you, man. Appreciate it. Oh, wow. Appreciate you. Appreciate the um, support you. You know, you've given me, given us for all the years. You know, I really started off these videos doing, boy, Steph, chill out for real. <laughs> I started the videos doing talking about Steph, and then I started talking about Kyrie, and I literally already know Kyrie. And Steph is, Steph is from Charlotte, and I'm from right. Durham. Right. It's only two hours away, so it was like, all right, let me just keep talking about Steph. I'm not a fool now. You okay. feel me? I yep, tell yeah, what yeah. I tell you. I think logical now. When we come back, Famous Lois tells us about working with his famous friends. Check out our YouTube channel, Fair Game, on FS1 to catch all the best highlights of our show. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.